Hi, I'm Nate Brown. Welcome to another OnlineDrummer.com drum lesson. In this drum lesson, we're going to be exploring ostinatos. Make sure you download and print out the sheet music to this so you can follow along with the lesson. It's available on OnlineDrummer.com or a link right under the video. You may not have heard the term ostinato used before. You may not know what it is, but you use it all the time in drumming. Ostinatos, that is. Um, Unfortunately, in drumming, a lot of times we get stuck into a basic ostinato, and it's called the straight eighth beat. So my right hand here is playing straight eighths. So I can play a lot of cool rhythms just with straight eighths. That straight eighth pattern is an ostinato. Uh, to define it, it's just a pattern or rhythm that repeats over and over in a drum beat. So this lesson is exploring changing that ostinato from the straight eighth pattern to developing other ostinatos, and it really changes the feel of the rhythm. Look at number one. I'm going to play the straight eighth ostinato for number one. You see my right hand's playing straight eighths. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Sounds good. But let's go to letter A. Letter A is a different ostinato. It's still using eighth notes, but now we're resting on count one and three. So the ostinato will sound like this. One and two and three. One and two and three. Just so you can get a better idea of the difference in feel, I'm going to play the straight eighth ostinato through twice, number one, and I'm going to go directly into letter A so you can hear the change. The ostinato on letter B is one, two, and three, four, and one. And that's going to dramatically change the feel of the beat because it's not syncopated. It's really on the downbeats. One, two, and three, four, and one. So I'm going to play that for you. Now, maybe that beat doesn't necessarily sound that great on its own. But there may be an application somewhere in a piece that you're writing or playing along with a group that you're going to need to change the feel in order to play something like that. Letter C. One and two. And letter D. I'm going to string all those together. I'm going to play each two measures, uh, starting with the straight eighths all the way down to letter D. This will give you an idea of the change of feel that an ostinato can create. Numbers 2, 3, 4, and 5 use the same ostinato patterns for letter A, B, and C, and D. Uh, the bass drum pattern changes. So you're playing some different rhythms, and you're practicing getting used to those eighth note ostinatos. I'm going to play the rest of these, beats 2, 3, 4, and 5, uh, playing each ostinato pattern twice, starting with the straight eighth ostinato. So this is number 2.
hope you enjoyed this lesson. I encourage you to take it further than just these five beats. Take a beat that you already play, that you play all the time and you're comfortable with, and try changing the ostinato pattern. A lot of times it helps to write it out and practice it slowly and, and increase the speed, just like with any other beat. If you haven't already, make sure you sign up on our drum forum, onlinedrummer.com slash forum. We've got a great community of people that are there to help you and answer your questions and just have a good time. And as always, keep drumming. <laughs>